What's up, you guys, and welcome to my channel. It is your girl, Meech69, back at it again. <laughs> with a YouTube video. I don't know why I did that. Disclaimer, disclaimer. I'm flirting like <laughs> Disclaimer, disclaimer. I'm flirting medical marijuana patient. Let's talk about the review. We're talking about products like that. If you don't like it, you can do what now? Or if you're under 18, you can do what now? You gotta kick rocks, not smoke them. Pew! So, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Meech and Michelle. Meech69 upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, randomly on another day. I can't fucking talk. Randomly, randomly on other days, I do crappy comedy and review and smoke tons of cannabis because I'm a medical cannabis patient here in Florida. Also, building a shipping container home. So, if any of that's your bag, subscribe and subscribe to my channel. Since if you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. And if you're a hater, well, <laughs> the rhythm is going to get you. Okay, so apparently, I can't talk today. I am all discombobulated. Okay, I just took a big rip. Okay, whatever. So, today's video is just going to be a tad bit different. I want to try to save you guys some money out there, and I'm going to show you guys how I made this light up ISO station. So, if you want to see how I made this light up ISO station, stay tuned. Basic, all I'm using is resin, epoxy resin. I got a mold. It is a pencil mold from Amazon. It is not a dab station or an iso station mold so this is the mold that it, i made that i'm using you guys and it's just a pencil uh holder and i thought hmm i bet that would make a good iso station so um uh, i'll show you how i have mine set up so right here i have some alcohol in here and i have q-tips in here you can put dab tools you can put a vape pens in here it's really it's a really cool little handy dude and i figured why not add some lights to it um so I'll show you, I just, it was epoxy resin, some pigments, the lights I got off of Amazon. I mean, honestly, it wasn't a lot to make this, but I mean, if you're going to make more than one, it'd be worth buying the mold. Otherwise, it just if you're not going to make more than one, just buy one off me. DM me on Instagram. There's that. So let me show you how I made this. I'll also throw in another video of me uh, making a lighted tray and let's show those videos real quick. Okay. So before we mix that epoxy, spray it with some silicone release. Take your lights, make sure they're working. Boom. Yeah. All I'm gonna do is lay these lights in here. I wanna shove them pretty good in there. All I'm doing is I'm setting this in here to where there's gonna be a good amount of lights throughout the whole thing. I have all the lights crammed in my box. That sounds dirty. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tape and cover this up because I learned the hard way that if you don't do that, it can get sticky. And then we're going to make some epoxy and we're going to pour it in. I have taped up the end of my lights. And what I did is I put some glow in the dark pigment in here because I think it'd be cool because it'll probably like make the whole thing glow. And there's a little bit in here and some purple. I saw a little glitter in here just to give a little color. This is probably going to be in two layers. I'm just going to rotate the colors out and we'll see what happens. This is perfect because the lights are staying. Now I'm going to let this set for a minute. We're going to make a little bit more. And we're gonna finish it off. All right, I have the rest of my epoxy mixed up. I actually died, like fucked it up a little bit because I thought I was grabbing purple and I grabbed blue. I digress. Let's pour it and we'll finish this off. I'll probably have some leftover, which is cool. Maybe not. I think this is just gonna be enough. I have like this is all taped up, so that let's see if it lights up. Oh, as you can see, it does light up. We're going to cure it. Keep our fingers crossed and push this down, down, down. We'll see. We're going to take our torch. We have some bubbles on the top. I have this very low because if you do it too hot, it'll stick to the mold. I will just do that a few times. Now we'll unmold it. I made an ISO station from a pencil holder. Let's unmold it. Oh, I just hope it's not sticky to it. Let's see. <laughs> I 
All right, give me a second. Let me get this out. Last one. Ready? And there it is. You can, it's a pencil holder, but you can put your dab tools, alcohol, and Q-tips. It even holds carb caps and vape pens. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's make a light up tray. I have my lights all in. I have sprayed with some silicone release and let's mix our epoxy. My epoxy mixed up and now I'm going to pour it. Start in the edges. All right, I got to pour this stuff. Hold, please. Now I'm going to mix up some more and top it off. Okay, um, apparently it cut off, but I poured a layer of clear and then I poured another layer and now we're going to unmold it. By the way, it definitely works. Boom. And there she is. And it also does this. Boom goes the dynamite. And here's an ISO station. Boom! Now what? Now what? And we're back to the power of the editing. So there you go, you guys. That is how I made my lighted ISO station. So it is kind of izzy. Izzy. I can't fucking talk. Why can't I talk today? I don't know. It wasn't that hard to make. Um, the only problem is, is buying the stuff isn't that cheap. So if this isn't something that, you know, you're going to be wanting to try to make for yourself or make for other people, I don't know. It's not a cheap hobby. <laughs> I'll say that. The resin, you can mess it up. You can mess up molds. I've messed up many molds. I can tell you when you like go to pop the bubbles, the torch isn't probably the best thing to use. You could use a heat gun. It's just all I had, right? I actually do have a heat gun. I just, I don't know. I've been using it. I made it happen. So, I don't know. I thought it was a neat idea. And I see people do all kinds of, I do rolling trays too, ashtrays. I have a lighted ashtray that I make. Go check out my Instagram to see all that stuff. If you guys want to order any of it, obviously DM me on Instagram and I got you. But I just think it was a cool idea. Put it out there for all you resin artists in the world, the smokers out there. You can make ISO stations and light that bitch up. Ah, no smoking in today's video. We want to try to get monetized. Cha-ching! <laughs> so fucking stupid. But yeah, easy peasy. What's that hard? Uh, just make sure you use that uh, that silicone release spray if you're going to do this because, yeah, I've ruined a few mills. And if you're wondering what that is, it's like glow-in-the-dark pigment. This actually does glow in the dark. All right, you guys. So that is how you make your own ISO station out of resin. If this is not a project that you want to do and you just think it's cool to have one, like I said, hit me up on Instagram. I'll be happy to make one for the right price. <sighs> Gotta keep the light on. The light, the light, it's light. So there you go. Yeah, I know it's not a really a review today, but you know, I always like to save a couple bucks and some people have resin and some people like would just want to do this because it is, you know, it, it wasn't, I mean, for the cost of making it, it's probably for the cost that you would buy it. And you'd probably have some extra if you wanted to do that. But it did take a lot of resin to make this, actually. More so than any other mold that I have, like a tray or anything. This one took a bit. It took a little bit. So, yeah, I think we're done here. Are we done here? I think we're done here. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you are awesome. Please, you art, art. You are awesome. Go ahead and drop a like. You can be a dick face and drop a dislike. And if you're not, subscribe to my channel. This and hit that bell. Ding dong. To get notified when I post. Yeah. All right. Toodles. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Buy one of these. Okay. There's that. Oh, bye.